Okay, so I just got off a fitting session with Tom um, and fitting him into the new M Woods. We actually started with the driver. He was playing a previous model, the SLDR 430. Tom said to me he likes a smaller head, so he jumped straight into the M1440, the 2017 model. Um, I noticed that he likes to launch the ball quite high, but he had quite a lot of spin on his SLDR, which was quite rare. So what I did was uh, actually choose the 10.5 head setting a couple of notches lower. He likes to see the face angle a little bit more open and it reflected in the numbers that he, he wanted to see the ball start a little bit further right. He likes to turn it over from right to left and there was a good amount of spin on the ball. Um, another massive thing for us was seeing that his ball speed jumped up nearly 11 mile an hour um, on an average. Uh, so he was even jumping up to nearly 13 mile an hour quicker, um, which is a long way through the air. In terms of what we did with the driver, just moved the weight a little bit further back in the head just to help him get a little bit more forgiveness. The front track weight just towards the fade, just to keep the face nice and open at impact, um, and also just to stop that, the one that goes really far left. So yeah, it worked really well, and it's probably the style of the show, if I'm honest. Moving on to the three-wood, uh, pretty much the same, same bag as the driver. Found something very similar in weight category. He wanted to hit something that maybe went about two or three yards further, but he wasn't too worried about it. Uh, he just wanted something that was tight on dispersion and we hit a few shots of that and he actually said between like in about three or four shots he knew that this was very good. He liked the feel of it, the sound of it was great. It performed well off the ground. I didn't spin up too much, which is what you found with his other three was that he spun it up a little bit too much off the turf. But with the, with off the tee it wasn't too far but it was still quite hot so he had a very good, very good three with there. And then the hybrid, just to finish, um, he was playing the Adams idea which is the smaller head. He doesn't like a five wood, so I thought I'd go right in between, which is the M2. It's slightly bigger than the M1, but it's actually a little bit hotter. It was a little bit longer, a little bit more spin, so it let the, uh, the peak height and the land angle was a lot steeper. So if he's hitting it into greens, then he can hold greens a lot better. Um, and that was a very good club as well. And we, we had a discussion on the track man where we had his gapping, so he was hitting driver like 250 on the fly, and then his three wood was 220, like 230, and then we had another one that came in at like 210, which was his hybrid. So he had a really good gap, gapping there, and it wasn't, you know, obviously when he's standing there with shots, it's, it's good to have that gap. Tom's M combination was M1 440, M1, and the M2 hybrid. Um, I was having some trouble with my driver and tended to pull it left a little bit. So I got fitted for the M1 430 and saw immediately that the ball speed was up, dispersion was down, it was longer, and just, it was just brilliant. It was, better than what I was currently playing. Moved on to the three wood, same again, um, missing it left, and from the fitting with Sam, ball speed was up, dispersion was down, and again, just longer, more accurate, better club, and same again with the rescue. Didn't think I'd be taking the rescue out of the bag, but it's definitely improved. My home track's uh, a woodland course, so it's tight, so the dispersion means more fairways, which then means more greens and hopefully lower scores.